Hello students and welcome to week three of our course. So last week you learned all about uh, populations, what we call population ecology. You learned how populations change over time and what types of factors limit population growth. So parts one and part two of the class, the first two weeks, were really your understanding of how a natural system works just on its own, right? Without the influence of humans, how does nature work? How does it change? How does it grow? Uh, what are the important biologic, biotic, and abiotic factors that work in to how these ecosystems ma uh, manage themselves. Now, for the next several weeks, we're going to be talking about specifically how humans are impacting these environments, right? So now that we understand how the environment works without us, let's add the human element into that and see what changes humans are making. So this week we're starting with two large topics. They're related to each other, but they're both sort of separately on their own very large topics. We're going to be talking about the atmosphere and air pollution, and we're also going to be talking about climate change. So a lot going on in uh, this week's module. So we're going to learn about air pollutants. You're going to learn how they impact human health, how they impact the environment. We're going to be talking about different types of ways that we try to regulate some of those pollutants and try to make the air cleaner and healthier. And then we're also going to talk about global climate change. So you'll learn about um, the atmosphere and energy and how solar energy comes into the atmosphere, what happens to it when it gets there, what greenhouse gases do, what their purpose is, what their function is, and then what happens if we have too many of those gases in the atmosphere, what are the consequences of that. So again, lots of topics to cover here and a lot of really important information. So as usual, you'll start with the lecture material. So again, we have two um, distinct chapters that you're going to be going through this time. So uh, chapter four and chapter five. So we're going to kind of continue in through the book just as before. I have uh, lecture notes and um, a, a video lecture for both of these topics so that you can review those. For assignments this week, you have your module quiz, which again, don't forget, you have three chances to get your best score. So I've noticed that some of you are sort of just doing it once and, and you're just, and that's fine. If you just want to do it once and you're okay with, you know, 14 points, so there's nothing wrong with that. You can just move on. But if you've got the time and the ability, you might as well take it a second time or a third time and try to get those extra points. So four to six points doesn't sound like much, but if you add those up over the course of the next several weeks, that can equal a lot of points. So don't, don't leave those points on the table if you don't have to. Uh, this week's assignment is something uh, a little bit um, different. We're going to actually work collaboratively as a class to come together with some class data. So to do this, I have a slightly different due date for an assignment than I normally do. So normally, all of our assignments are due on Sunday, with the exception of your initial post on the discussion board, which is due on Friday. This week, there's another assignment that's due Friday, and that is posting your car's information on our course wiki. So we're looking at cars and climate change. So there is a, a wiki that I have created that is going to record everybody's class data. So when you get to the assignment, it's going to say click here for the wiki, and you're going to click here, and I've entered an example of the data that you're going to put down. So in the assignment itself, I give you a website to go to. Uh, it's a website run by the EPA, and it's all about your car. So you can learn about your car's uh, combined uh, miles per gallon. Uh, you can learn about how much greenhouse gas your car's emitting. There's all kinds of things you can learn about your car. So you're going to go to this website. You're going to find your car or whatever car you have access to on a somewhat regular basis if you don't have your own vehicle. You're going to put down the year, the make, the model. And then you're going to go to that EPA website and you're going to write down what the combined miles per gallon is for your vehicle and also how much emissions in tons per year. So please note that it gives different data values. I specifically want tons per year. In order to add your data to this, you just hit comment and write your data here. So write your data here. And then you hit add. See? And then it'll come up in the comments write your data here, okay? And that's where everybody's data will be. So the class will continue to have data for everybody's car. So then what you're going to do, and I'm going to delete my comment. Uh, so then what you're going to do is you will take everybody's data, or as many people as you have, try to at least wait until 
We've got maybe like 10 people who've commented on the wiki. Um, so again, this will somewhat require you to do this assignment a little bit later in the week. Um, but we really want to get a, a good idea of class data here before you're moving on. So try to wait until you at least have five entries into this class wiki. So then you're going to use this data and you're going to answer some questions uh, back in the assignment. So the original assignment that we have. There's a few more questions uh, in there then that you'll you'll answer based on this information. Uh, and then of course we have our discussion question this week and also our quiz this week, just as usual. And then last but not least is your check-in for the week. So assignments are pretty much the same as they have been in previous weeks. Um, thank you to everyone who got your, uh, hold on, let me hit cancel on this real quick. There we go. Um, thank you to everyone who got your green tech brainstorm ideas to me. So uh, I haven't had a chance to look through everybody's brainstorm ideas yet, um, but there's some great ideas here. I will say that when I'm giving you feedback on these assignments, specifically this assignment, if you throw something in that's already been around for a while, I might challenge you to, to kind of to find something with that's latest and greatest. I'll give you a perfect example, electric cars. Electric cars are not new. They are not an emerging green technology. They have been around for quite some time. Uh, so if you put down electric cars, I might say, okay, what's new with electric cars? Can you find something that they're doing that they previously haven't done before? That might be interesting. But just to make a, a report on electric cars, yeah, that's that's not really that interesting. Same thing with like windmills, for example, or wind turbines for, for wind energy. Wind turbines have been for around for a pretty long time. So if that's your topic, can you find something new about turbines? Can you find something about, oh, you can put small turbines in your backyard? That might be interesting, right? But the turbines that we see as we travel through different states and things, eh, there's nothing particularly new or emerging about that technology. So keep in mind that depending on the topics you chose, I might steer you in different directions on things that I think are sort of new and interesting and people probably would learn more about versus things that we kind of already know about. So just sort of keep that in mind. Uh, and I will, again, uh, provide you feedback before you move to the next assignment, which the next assignment is actually going to be the outline. So in a few weeks, and you have until the end of the month to do this, you'll choose one of those three topics that you gave me. And you're going to give me sort of a one page outline, right? You're going to start looking information up. You're going to give me the, the who, what, when, where, and why of your technology. Okay, and again, those instructions uh, for that particular assignment is once again in that additional materials folder where you found everything else. So I think that's it for uh, this week as far as announcements go. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have, uh, again, sort of the, the same pieces of information, uh, same things to turn in that we have previously. Hopefully you're getting used to the pacing uh, of this class as you notice we move through things pretty quickly, uh, fairly quickly here. Uh, so make sure you try your best to stay on top of things. If you have questions, concerns, comments, anything I can help with, please reach out to me via email. That is what I'm here for. I'm here to help in any way I can. I know we're not face-to-face, -face, so we don't always have those types of interactions, uh, but I'm still here to be a, a source of help for you when you need it. So thanks everyone, have a good week, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.